In this video here, we're going to talk about how to register your domain uh, through GoDaddy.com, who's quite arguably one of the largest domain registrars out there. So what we're going to do is just kind of go through the process from start to finish of registering a domain name. So for this example, um, you know, as far as choosing a good domain goes, you want to make sure your domain, you know, clearly states, you know, to the person that that's going to type in your name what they could expect to find, or you can go with the branding angle. Uh, you know, you could go the direction that you know Facebook has gone, YouTube, but those things still kind of relate to you know what people are going to find. Uh, eBay, that's kind of a unique brand. Amazon, that's kind of a unique brand as well. So you've got, you know, so basically what you need to do is decide, you know, kind of what you want to do with your domain. You know, obviously Twitter, that's very unique, you know, to Twitter as well. So it really depends on the purpose of your domain. Um, and without getting much in the technicalities here, I'm going to just jump in and show you how to register a good domain. And so what I'm going to start with here is, you know, I'm just going to pretend I'm going after the niche. There's a new product out there um, in ClickBank that's coming out about shoulder pain for weightlifters so um, we're gonna come across um, you know just a domain here let's just say um, shoulder shoulder pain um, let's say shoulder pain resource let's just see if that's available so you can just come up with some ideas there and then I always like to go with dot com with GoDaddy and the first thing you want to do is go to GoDaddy.com so once you kind of have an idea of the domain you want to look for um, that's important once you have the rough idea because then from there you can kind of spend a little time on GoDaddy and going back and forth so we're just gonna go you know shoulder pain resource we're just gonna see um, if that's an option for us to choose here and it looks like that one is actually available um, so there you go so that domain here is available and um, we can go ahead you know and go through the process of purchasing this domain so once you see uh, the domain you know if it is available it's gonna show up here with a green check mark like you see right here and right below um, it's gonna actually it can get kinda tricky here with GoDaddy um, right below it, it's going to say variations you might want to consider if for example that one's not available um, premium domains you definitely want to kind of stay away from these ones uh, when you're on GoDaddy because as you can see the price tag can really jump at you uh, before you know it so we're just going to go with uh, shoulderpainresource.com and we're going to quickly add that to our cart And what we're going to do here is on the right hand side, we're just going to choose continue to registration. And this is the spot where, you know, if you're brand new, you would actually put in all your information uh, for GoDaddy. So you would actually input all your data there. Um, but in this particular example, we're going to go ahead and just put in you know our current account and information there um, but in your example you'd put in if you're brand new uh, your first name last name email uh, just give them all the information they ask for and then click on the next option so you put in your customer number and then your password and then just click on next and this is if you already had an account and again like I said earlier put in your name and information that they ask for one of the first things GoDaddy will do as well um, is they're going to try to get you to put in a certain registration length. So I'm going to put in here, uh, we're going to register this for one year. And the next thing, your privacy and domain protection. Most of the time, the standard registration is going to be just fine for you. Um, you know, some people, if you really want to, you know, have privacy where they can't see your name and address, you know, that's completely up to you. Uh, just keep in mind, you know, in this day and age, there's a good chance they could track you down some other way. Because um, a lot of times I've seen people do the private registration, but then they're posting on their blog with their name and picture and all that, you know. So, um, you know, it's really up to you. Generally, um, standard registration, which is included free, um, is the best option. So we're just going to click on next. Uh, then they're going to try to upsell you to different email accounts and things like that. And you really aren't going to need that uh, because you can do that through your web host. Next, we're going to click on the next tab at the bottom. And it's going to try to upsell you if you have other domains in your account. So I'm just going to click on no thank you here. 
All right. And then so now this is what you should be seeing. You should be seeing, you know, one domain right here. Um, you know, so the domain we're going after one year length. And then we're just going to go up here to say continue to checkout. And right here, you would just put in your billing information on this page. And you're going to go ahead and make the purchase. So there you go. Um, this is kind of the, the page you'll see. Um, you know, once you have actually made a purchase, yeah, it'll take a few minutes. You can actually go, you know, view and print the receipt if you want, uh, just to make sure the domain actually did go through. But that's the first process. This is, you know, step by step how you register a domain with GoDaddy.com.